hi guys today i give you a new video about new thing if you stay tuned with my channel you can find a lot of things about technology so guys today i am gonna talk about routing android device today video is especially important for the android users like me because it you should watch this video without skipping as well as if you hadn't subscribed my channel yet i request please subscribe using red button and you can get notification about my newest videos by clicking the bell icon below Okay, let's go to the video. We can root any Android device. It may be Android tab or phone, but iOS device can't be root. However, what's the root mean? We can't access some features to the device usually, but in this case, we can access any features into the device from the routing. So it's meaning, after routing a device, we can do lot of things more than before. As an example, the RAM can't be increased, but when the routing we can increase RAM easily. Like that, we can enable lot of facilities. In other words, we splash some hidden features in the phone falsely. So, if we root a device, we have to damage software in the phone. I think you may know it will be some harmful. As well as when we buy a phone, we don't have fully ownership. Half of them belong to the company. Therefore, your phone will get updates and security checkups once a month. When routing, this warranty is cancelled. It means your device isn't belongs to company furthermore. It is only yours. There are some disadvantages in the routing, but we can do many useful things this with routing. Use apps easily which couldn't be used before root. Any app can be supported. RAM in case apps can be used are some of them. So those are the advantages of routing. Well, there are some disadvantages also. First thing is you won't be able to update app furthermore and your phone warranty will be cancelled. Even your security will be decreased. These are the disadvantages that we can see. However, routing is like this. The phone can be root installing an app. But all the devices can't be root like that. Some devices show as routing fail. I mentioned a link below in the description and you can download and try it. If not, you can route it using computer. This method works 100%. That software can be downloaded from Google. The main thing is, after you root your phone, you can unroot it again. But the warranty is never comes again. Now you can root your device yourself. You can get some idea about routing from my video. So, my personal idea is, if you have Android devices more than one, there is no matter to root a phone. And if you have all one, you also try to root that one. Well, I think today's video was especially important for the Android users. If my videos are good, you can subscribe and get notification about my newest videos from this clicking bell icon. Let's meet again in another video soon. Have a nice day.